Let me begin this module by drawing your attention to an important publication by Dr. Miguel Cardenas, which refers to standards of competence in organizational synchronization, or OS. The document has wealth of details on the minimum level of competence established by the International Certification System of San Diego Global Knowledge University, STGKU, at its portal www.stgku.com. Cardenas defines OS as a global competence with various skill areas essential for effective performance. A list of skill areas with minimum performance standards is proposed. Standards for global systems analysis include systems methodology, visioning, and organizational congruence, as well as shared actions and collective commitment. ETK standards focus on E, T, and K individually and collectively as the OS conceptual framework and the ETK implementation. Standards of organiz organizational synchronization methodology includes technology management, administrative management, and logistics, standards cover implementation of the methodology as well. Standards of business productive strategy is concerned with self-review and teamwork, strategic planning, organizational development as well, as human capital development and global competencies. Finally, Cardenas' important document of reference includes standards of English language proficiency as a work skill. This covers oral and written communications. The levels of proficiency in listening comprehensiveness is also measured. Today's technology and globalization realities demand continuous improvement of English language proficiency. These standards are universally applicable, covering education, business, government, and civil society at any level of the organization or community of interest. In another module, I asserted the phenomenon of globalization is ubiquitous and that it's not the exclusive property of the industrialized world. I re-examine the importance of internal and external synchronization using the ETK concept, leading us to important systems models, also proposed by Cardenas, the three C's model the three SS model and the PMA model. The three C's relate to capacity, our resource set, competence, knowledge and skill sets, and commitment, intention, action, and results. The three SS are concerned with synchronization, internal and external alignments, sustainability, capacity to endure, and solidarity and sharing, mutual reinforcement. The acronym PMI refers to building potential, acquiring mastery, and developing initiative. The concept of sustainability is the second of the three SS model, as it provides the capacity to endure time and make our synchronization endeavors truly long-term. Sustainability has been discussed in numerous publications by academicians, trainers, consultants in recent years.
and has attracted the attention of global leaders in education, business, government and civil society. The World Investment Forum is a global forum on investment and development. In its four-day meeting of September 6 through 9th in 2010, held in Xiamen, China, influential participants convened to discuss how to promote sustainable investment and development in the new phase of globalization. This forum brought together more than 1,000 people from 90 countries, including investors, representatives of governments, businesses, international organizations, investment promotion agencies, and civil societies. It's worth noting that 11 heads of state were among the participants. Sustainability has been the attraction for many organizations in the American hemisphere as well. For instance, SG Biofuels, a private company located in Encinitas, California, near San Diego, is planning to develop an R&D establishment with a 42,000 square feet greenhouse in order to extract biofuels from Jatropha, a native bush from Mexico. Jatropha is a promising because it grows well in marginal soils. The company claims that it can produce crude Jatropha oil for $1.4 a gallon or $50.80 a barrel. Another major news that involving Brazil was reported in mid-October in the 2010 in the Washington Post. Once seen as a wasteland, the region called Cerrado, a white savanna that covers nearly a quarter of the country, is now the motor of an agro-industry so potent that Brazil threatens to surpass the United States as the breadbasket to the world. The answer to how that transformation happened can be found at a government-run agricultural research center called Embrapa, where scientists make Brazil's poor soils fertile while developing crop varieties that will thrive there such as wheat, along with corn, soya beans, and cotton. Finally, the concept of solidarity and sharing, represented by the third S, provides the mutual reinforcement and support we need as a networked society collaborate, giving the best of what we have to others, and seeking the mitigation of our weaknesses and gaps by learning the best from others. Success will be assured in our globalized society by excelling in the third S of Cardenas' pioneering systems model. It's now a pleasure to introduce to you our special invited guest, Mr. Victor Moglia whose doctoral dissertation work in the Marshall Goldsmith School of Management at Alliant International University illustrates the importance of synchronization in the st strategic health management field. Victor, you are fully familiar with the problems faced by the healthcare industry. Could you briefly describe your motivation to research this subject? The United States is investing over $1.7 trillion annually in health care, yet over 20% of its population is uninsured or underinsured. This is resulting in more than 18,000 lives lost every year due to gaps in medical coverage. And there are between 98,000 and 195,000 estimated patient deaths each year nationwide due to medical errors. This is the equivalent of a Boeing 747 
crashing every single day. These health care quality and affordability issues have created a societal and political uprising in the United States. The societal pressure is forcing the health care industry to examine ways to improve quality while lowering operational costs. Since information technology has been proven in other industries to help lower costs and reduce errors, many healthcare leaders are looking to information technology to be a quick fix. My professional experience has proven that technology alone is absolutely not the answer. Consequently, my research motivation is to identify the information technology related business elements which are needed to successfully improve healthcare process performance and in turn healthcare quality and affordability. These are related to the E and K in the ETK model. What are your major research findings and recommendations to healthcare providers, legislative bodies, medical practitioners, and healthcare receivers? Healthcare providers should note that increased synchronization of IT solution realization directly relates to improved medical services process performance. However, in order to affect an increase in IT solution realization, there also needs to have a corresponding increase in both managerial support and organizational collaboration. Medical practitioners should collaborate with healthcare management and IT personnel throughout the entire IT solution realization life cycle. They should also market and motivate other medical practitioners to patiently work with the new IT solutions until they are fully successful. Legislative bodies should note that governmental funding priority should be given first to people practices, then process reengineering and change management, leveraging information technology solutions, and finally to IT and the associated processes to realize effective solutions. Healthcare patients should be aware of medical provider progress in improving patient outcomes and lowering costs. Thank you, Victor, for your brief explanation of your research findings in the healthcare industry. These findings clearly demonstrate the importance and global applicability of the ETK synchronization in any vital sector of a nation, whether it is healthcare, as illustrated by Victor Moglia, or higher education, as pointed out by Jorge Cardenas. Similar research investigations are underway in the field of global sports, which we plan to report in another ITC program. To conclude, I would like to quote a message of wisdom from uh, attributed to Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, who, which says that the difference between what we do and what we are capable of doing would suffice to solve most of the world problems. Organizational synchronization certification gives us the competence to solve our own productive challenges. But if we add sustainability and solidarity to our approach, the three SS model, our actions will also be contributing to solving our current global inequities and paving the way to a brighter future for our children. Our short-term needs and urgencies should never be the benchmark for our major structural decisions unless we want to miss the future. Thank you.